So this is great. I'm excited today. We have uh, we have Alan here, and we're going to be talking about the importance of video in real estate. And I think that's really important with our agents right now, and especially right now in this economy, getting everybody back on track and on video. I think it's really important. So I'm excited to have you here, Alan, and to go over this with us. Thank you. You know, I, I sort of feel like I'm talking about something everybody knows, you know, that, hey, we all know we ought to do it. But it's one of those things that can sort of slip by, you know, and and really not get done. And recently, boy, we have we've. Well, that, that one of the biggest things is we have one of our team members that's really focused on it. And so on especially getting those out on social media and we're posting like articles the article has a video then we're posting the video itself and so some of the platforms like tiktok you're not going to post a you're not going to post an article but tiktok i don't know if you know it or not or the agents know it they're already accepting 10 minute videos and they are experimenting with 15 minute videos so they're sort of going like to the far end of it. Instagram still still about uh, still a minute, right? But video, man, I mean, it's just like crazy. I mean, the the social platforms, that's what they want. They're hungry for it. People want to see it. So if you're posting videos, people want to see your stuff a whole lot more than if you're just posting images or articles or something like that. So if you're actually uploading the video and Nadia, I don't know if you guys do that. Do you upload your video through your high level social planner up, up to the social platforms and all that? We do when we're doing trainings like this, we do set it up so that it can go out to everybody. Um, but, uh, but we need to get better at it. We need to do more of it for sure. Yeah, so we've got ours, and and you know how you can do the repeat posts, right? You know, and so you know, just schedule those things to go out, you know, so that you've got videos posting multiple times a day to all of those platforms, and it makes a big difference. I was telling you the other day, man, my LinkedIn has just blown up since we started doing this. I mean, I'm getting a lot more people seeing my stuff, our stuff on LinkedIn than ever before. It's just like every day we got the videos posting, you know, so so it's it's just shown to me what we've been saying forever is really even more making more impact that things are going more with the video stuff. So it's real super important. I see we got some more people coming on. That's really cool. Nadia, oh, did you great. get the did you share our little uh, cheat sheet meeting notes by any chance? Yes, I did. I sent that to everybody in the WhatsApp. Group. Cool. And cool. um, so you're talking about Evergreen, uh, sending it out on Evergreen, right? Kind yeah. Of so so if we've got a not Evergreen, we'll send it out. Say maybe we'll post it like six times over three months or something like that. But if we've got Evergreen stuff, I mean, we are we've we're posting it forever. Right. So so we've got we've got videos hitting multiple videos, hitting TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn every day. Plus, we've got our, our articles hitting on top of that, you know. So, I mean, just really just be pounding that stuff like crazy. Um, and, and man, it makes a giant difference. And, and we've seen it. It makes a giant difference. And on TikTok, I mean, people are seeing videos on TikTok more than anywhere else, you know. So, it's just crazy stuff. Um. Okay, so Nadia, I've got our little meeting notes here. Now, talking about real estate agents, okay? So just uh, just to keep some stats, 85% of buyers and sellers want to use video with an agent, right? And the properties listed with videos receive four times the inquiries compared to those without. So video is really a must-have, right, Nadia? I mean, that's, that's really sort of like a must-do thing, right? Is it? by being real estate agents? Absolutely. I think it's so important when we are doing, especially when we're doing uh, presentations of our listings, I think it's so important for our customers to to see that. And, and we're supposed to be the best in marketing and we need to be able to market with the videos as well. Yeah, man. So, I mean, doing videos is just like, um, it's, it, it's just like, I mean, it's just, you got to do it, right? Um, so that, and that's really cool. 
Um, and here I've got uh, full disclosure. Uh, Gemini Advanced did this. <laughs> so so uh, if you guys aren't using Gemini Advanced, I think I, I think we did a training on that, right? Chat GTP four and Gemini Advanced. And I don't we know if did, you got, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you guys saw it, or I don't know if it's after that. I did a little article with analysis. And Gemini Advanced is blowing the socks off of Chat GTP4. You know, I mean, it's totally the way to go. So, anyway, um, Gemini Advanced, why real estate agents should use videos and their marketing strategies, increase engagement. Uh, videos are more engaging than static text and images. Uh, capture attention and hold interest. And I want to, this is something, and this is something we learn. I personally learn, Nadia, as I, I sort of put them together is I'll give this little tip to the agents here and I'll go over to like a LinkedIn. So here's LinkedIn. When you come over here, it's just like on any of your feeds. When people are scrolling down, you want the opening scene to be a video and not a static image because that's what makes people stop. If they're just scrolling through their feed and the beginning of your video is a static image. They just think it's an image. So frame number one, have, have video content moving to get their attention. So that's one of the things that I, that's one of the things um, that's one of the things that I learned off of that. And, and it does, it grabs their attention and it holds their interests. And so Super important to do that. Property showcasing. I'm going to show you an app. Um, Nadia, have you heard of Opus Pro? Opus Clip with Opus.pro instead of .com, it's .pro. I'll show this to you, man. It's pretty cool. Uh, and I think it's really good with the real estate videos. At least there's some agents out there that say that it is. Um, builds trust, you know, because people want to see you and Nadia, they, they want to see you because they want to size you up as to whether they think there's someone they can, you are someone they can trust. They want to see your face. They want to hear your voice. Um, there, of course, there's SEO benefits, reach a wider audience. We've seen that with ours. I mean, gigantuan and, probably stand out from the competition because there's still probably a lot that don't do it. And then seller, seller appeals, homeowners are likelier to list with an agent who uses video marketing. And, um, you know, so all important reasons to be doing and cranking out these videos like crazy. Nadia, your comments, because I mean, you're in real estate. What do you think? Oh, absolutely. Um, it, it's almost as good. I'd like to see a statistic of either having coffee with someone or doing video um, chat with them. I mean, it is so important to do that because just like you said, they're trying to build trust with you. And then by using video to do property showings and uh, using it to, to show how the property is laid out, um, I heard it's at like an 85 percent difference. Yeah. Um, being able to use that. So it's definitely, I, I strongly encourage everyone to use the videos. Yeah. 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 You know, and I learned a long time ago, um, you know, people who are leaders and people who are, who are influencing, they create massive amounts of content, right? You know, you've got to, you've got to become a content creating machine, you know, and videos is easy enough to do, right? Yeah, you know, you talk all the time. You talk to people all all day long. You just record some of them. You know, it's just easy. It's a piece of cake. Okay, so um, anything else, Nadia, on why real estate agents really need to be cranking out the videos? Well, I think it's important because you know, as a real estate agent, you know, you're showing your seller that you have the ability to market their property. So by showcasing your own videos prior to getting your listing agreement, 
you're showing them what you're going to do with their property. So it, I think it's really important for us to go out there, get doing the videos so that they know that their property is going to be out there and have that reach that you have already built by doing these videos to get their property sold. So I, I think it's extremely important for real estate agents to be using the strategy. Yeah. You know, and people are going to check out your, they're going to check out your website. They're going to check out your social media, right? Because I mean, they're entrusting you with a big job to sell their house or to buy one, the biggest investment many of them will ever make. And they're going to check you out. Um, I've told the story before a very, very good friend of mine um, with with an agency that's got like 400, 400 agents in the office. And she is number one repeatedly year after year. And she was she was at a listing appointment with a high end luxury client who looked at her website and said, your online digital appearance is not what we're looking for. And she lost the listing, you know, and she sold lots of multimillion dollar homes. But just because of that, people, you know, they're wanting to see that you can do this, that you've got the appearance, you can put it together, you can make it look good, and they can trust you with their most valuable asset, you know. So it's just like a must do, a must do. Um, so Nadia, I've got, you know, we've, we've gone through this tool before Flicky and my plan is not to go do it again, but, um, um, we've gone through this already where you can do the AI, you know, and, um, I did, I did pull it up for fun. This is actually, this is actually the one I, this is actually the one I made for our, for our meeting. We did all of this. It was some time ago. But it just goes through that. And this was all AI created. It's got the voice. Uh, the app has been improved since now. So it looks a lot cooler and a lot better and everything. But man, what did I say that it took me to do this? I mean, I did have to tweak it up a little bit, you know, half an hour or something to have something really cool looking, you know. And yeah, yeah. that's that's nothing, right? That's nothing if you've got a property like this to spend half an hour to get a great video. And then you're posting that video and maybe you make two or three of them. And then you're posting every week. You've got a couple of videos of this property on there. So let me show you this Opus clip. Now I hear from some real estate people that this is really cool. This is really going to help them out a lot. I don't know. I tried it with our business. I mean, quite honestly, with us, um, you know what? You know, I'll create an article, I'll create a video, and then I've got one of our team members who will um, get that all on the article, all the the video on social media. She'll she'll you know, my thumbnail look a little bit better for my YouTube video. And we'll also take my big video and then make a vertical copy to go on TikTok. All of that, mm -hmm. you know. Nice. So, so, so we use Flicky, but this Opus clip, I think it has a lot of good, um, it has a lot of good potential for real estate agent. And what you, what I would suggest doing is you, is you take the you 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 take a vertical uh a a vertical video of the property um and you may also want to take a horizontal also because it would look really cool on YouTube and Facebook etc like that um you know but for Instagram you've got to have it vertical and for TikTok you've got to have it vertical um and the cool thing about TikTok now is it'll take long form video. But what this does is it uses AI to take a long video and break it up into those short clips that you would use for YouTube shorts, which is, I, I, I don't go over 59 seconds because sometimes if you hit right one minute, it won't pick up. This is a short uh, and also for Instagram. And so I tried it out a little bit and, and you upload a, you upload a clip 
and then it'll break it down. It'll give you some really, really some editing things you can do quite easily. And it also give you some grading and some tips on how to make it better. Oh, so okay. you, you can see this one is like two point uh, two minutes and 23 seconds long. And then it comes down with a 53 second version. And so I think something like this could be really valuable to the agents just to like, um, um, just to like speed them up. You know, that's sort of the thought so that they can really simply go out there, take a long form video of the property and then put it in the AI. And of course you need the long form, right? But you got those two platforms that are only going to take 59 seconds, I call it. And so you got to chop it up. And so let AI really help you chop that up and, uh, you know, save some time and some stuff like that. And so it looks really super affordable. Uh, let me go over and see that really quick. That was my next question. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we do monthly. Uh, and they do have a free version. Um, you know, it's got um, it's got a watermark on there. You can't do editing, junk like that. So, but it's nineteen bucks a, a month. Um, for let's see, for this one, this one's nine bucks a month. So that's you know nine bucks a month. You know, to sell uh, a few houses a year or something like that. I mean, you know, uh, yeah. not so bad. Plus, to get yourself out there, just be out there all the time, you know? Mm -hmm. So anyway, I, uh, there's some real estate agents that say this is a pretty good little thing. But I don't know. It's worth a try. I would say it's worth a try. I just got the free version, just sort of giving it a try. I think we're going to keep doing what we're doing. But it might be good for some real estate agents, you know? What do you sort of think? Well, definitely. I think it's, it's a huge thing if you can save just a little bit of time um, because, you know, spending their all their time on one property they need to go out there and be finding the next one so any yeah. time that they can save is is going to get them their next listing yeah yeah so it's just one of those time savers that really helps out a lot so you know i think so i think so um nadia anything you think we should talk about next that was pretty much all my notes but we can talk about a few other things if you want um, well, what is the difference between Opus Clip and Flicky? If, could you explain? Yeah, so Flicky, Flicky, I'll just, um, let me go pull up. We've got a few folders here for a few few of our people here. Um, so, so what Flicky does is, and I've sort of got this in the meeting notes here. So you can give Flicky an idea, a broad idea. And it will create an AI video. Um, it will have uh, the visual assets. It will create the actual text. You know, just, you just give it an idea. It does everything. Um, I just so happen I was preparing earlier today, and I think I've got one of the right. Right here is one of those. This this is all AI. I just gave it an idea, and uh, it's it's why children something like why children want their parents to be successful at marketing, right? And so it was a chance to show little babies and stuff like that, right? And so I've got another one. It's like like um um why kittens like to do something and why puppies like this or that. It's all AI. I, I just, I just gave it an idea. It did the text. It did the music. It did the voiceover. It did the video, everything. It did everything. As I went through, I just, I might've, you know, just cleaned it up a place or two, but that's one of the greatest things because you can do one of these a day for like nothing, man. I mean, during morning coffee, you know, uh, if you've just got the idea, right? Um, oh, I like it, that. Yeah, and AI will, will go take all the knowledge of the internet, even if you want a little a little tongue-in-cheek cheek one like me, 
you know, why, why children want their parents to succeed at marketing, you know, type thing. And it'll even put that little spoof thing on there, you know? Um, yeah. So that is, that is really cool. If you've got the idea, let AI come up with all the details. The one I use all the time is blog to video because you know, I'll use AI to create the draft. I'll finish it up on a blog. After I'm done with that, I will use Flicky to take that blog article and to summarize it. It, it can do the whole thing verbatim, but that's too long. To summarize it into a video that's usually between like three and five minutes, which is a pretty good, pretty good. And it'll take that content and it will do that. I'll put the video with the article and that'll go on social media. Uh, we'll also put the video by itself on social media. So I use that one all the time. And the uh, PowerPoint to video, never use tweet to video, never use product to video. I've never used it, but it sounds pretty cool. The other thing is really cool. If, for example, you can, you can say, take the realtor.com market report and create a video. Or, uh, and just give it the URL. Oh. Yeah. You can take the Zillow, which is going to, to, which is going to give market reports by regional areas mm. or Tampa for Hillsborough County and say, make a video. And it just, it does it. So to me, this is the biggest thing. This is the biggest thing for us, you know, because we're creating blogs all the time. And, you know, this, this is it, man, you know, so, so this is great. This, this will get you a lot of video. And there's another thing. Recently, they've come out where you can record your voice and they'll use your voice for the voiceover, AI voiceover. Oh, that's neat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So this, and again, I showed you like with the last demonstration we did, how I took a property and I gave it the property, the website where the property with all the details, it created the video. I need to clean it up a little bit, but it still did a good job getting it started. Maybe took me 30 minutes, got a nice video out of it. So to me, I mean, it's, it's just, it's just great. It's just great. So you can just constantly cr uh, crank out the, the videos and then the agents too, you know, when they're visiting properties, doing this, whatever, they got a friend. Oh, can I promote your product? Yeah, go make a, uh, your uh, listing. Oh, yeah, that'd be great. Okay, go make a video, you know, so uh, and then posting that like crazy. So that's what we use it for, for sure. Um, All I right. have a question. Um, you were saying uh, earlier to make it like on LinkedIn to have it so that uh, it's a not a static image, but a graphic. How do you create that? Is that with uh, just with on high level that we put a little video first or how do you create this? So what you do is you actually post the video to LinkedIn. Okay. So, 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 and you can have your little message and everything click. And instead of posting an image with it, post a video with it. Okay. And, and so then say you, you set your high level uh, to say you're, you, you want that, that video to be per, posted once a month or something. So right. pretty, pretty soon with all the videos you got going on, you got a video or two videos posting a day to Facebook, yeah. LinkedIn, all of these places, you know, and that's awesome. And, and the point I was making, because like when you create a video, you know, your, your first say few frames, you could choose to have a static image and, and, you know, but if, if you choose to have a moving image at the beginning of your video, when people are scrolling through their feed, Facebook, Instagram, whatever it is, they'll see movement immediately. And that'll, oh, wait a minute, let's check out this video. Yeah. It'll Definitely. make them stop. It'll make them stop. Definitely. I like that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Very cool. Anything else? I know our time's pretty much up. Anything else you think... Um, I'll show you something really quick. I think this is really cool. So posting on TikTok. This 
This is Google search results bringing in TikTok videos. Okay. And the, the last one here is a YouTube video. So um, your TikTok videos can be on Google as well as TikTok. I thought that was super interesting. That is. Okay. Yep. Like okay, that. Nadia, anything else you think we should cover? Just sort of, the, we're just encouraging agents to be doing the videos, right? Everybody knows we should Definitely. do them, just encouraging them to do it. And making it easier, because I know that the, using some of those like Opus One and Flicky, it makes it easier to, even if they don't have a listing at this time, they can go review a property, uh, just any property, and uh, and then find buyers for it. So I think that that's a huge benefit to be able to use some programs like that to make it easier and quicker yeah yeah so. i mean you can do it so much faster so much easier does it cost you a few dollars sure but hey we're in business it, it you, you need the tools you need the tools yep. for marketing and for business you know and they're really they're really cheap when you really think about it you know mm -hmm. yep and as a 1099 definitely writing them off and yeah it's worth it though because if yep. you can get, like you said, just a few listings a year from that one marketing, it could yeah. be any door knockers you could do. Yeah, I would pay $100 a month if I were going to sell, what, five, six, seven, ten houses a, a year or 20 or whatever, man. That's nothing. That's, you know, it's absolutely nothing. Yeah, yeah. Well, perfect. Well, thank you so much, Alan. And You're uh, welcome. I'm excited about getting more videos out there for sure. And uh, looking forward to our next uh, presentation with you, our next training. So we'll schedule something in the near future. But excited we had uh, uh, most of our agents available, the ones that are not closing. But congratulations to the ones that did today. Yep. And, good to, uh, and it's good to see them all. That's great. Yeah. Yep. Well, thank you so much, Alan. And looking forward to doing this again with you. Thanks a lot. Have a great one, everybody. All right. You too. Thank Talk you. Soon. Thanks, guys.